A major fear some people have with roller coasters is that of the train suddenly rolling backwards down the lift hill. But can this actually happen? Well, in most situations it cannot. When a roller coaster starts to rise up the lift hill, a clicking sound can often be heard. Many riders mistake this as the sound of the chain itself, but it's actually the sound of the most common anti-rollback system. This system consists of a trough in the middle of the track filled with notches that engage with one or more safety dogs attached to the bottom of the roller coaster train. These two systems together create a kind of ratchet that allows the train to move up the lift hill freely, but when the train starts to roll backwards, the safety dogs will fall backwards into one of the notches. In this way, even in the event of a catastrophic failure like a chain breaking, the train will not roll backwards. As stated before, the system is the most recognizable as it is easily heard on most roller coasters. But not all roller coasters make this sound. However, that does not mean they're unsafe. Many of Intamin's coasters that utilize a cable lift system are quiet most of the time when climbing the lift hill. This is because Intamin used a magnetic system that kept the safety dogs away from the track unless the train is moving too slowly or stops. This means that you'll only hear the anti-rollback system engage if the train is moving slowly like it does on some morning test runs or on colder days. Some other companies like Gerstlauer and Mack Rides use a system of magnetic brakes that pop up behind the passing train as it climbs the lift on some of their coasters. These magnetic brakes are not capable of stopping a train but would slow it down to an extremely slow speed until the train detached from the lift and hits some form of friction brake at the base of the lift hill. Launch roller coasters do not have any kind of anti-rollback and are actually designed to allow trains to roll back safely. This often comes in the form of magnetic brake fins that pop up behind a launching train or the launch system itself in the case of magnetically launching coasters. There was one notable accident in history where the anti-rollback system of a coaster did fail to work. That was on Wild Wonder, a wild mouse type coaster in 1999. In short, the park had installed non-original safety dogs which was against the law in New Jersey where the ride was located, and when the train unexpectedly detached from the lift chain, the safety dogs failed to stop the train. I already made a separate video covering the specifics of what happened in this accident and that video is linked in the description. I hope that you now have a better understanding about how this aspect of roller coaster safety works. I've made several other videos covering how roller coaster safety systems work and that playlist is in the upper right hand corner of your screen. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section below or join our Discord as me and other server members would be happy to answer. Thanks for watching.